When people ask me about multi-streaming, most of the time they just want to know how Restream works and how to set it up. So Restream reaching out to me to discuss a partnership was actually a perfect opportunity. So this video is sponsored by Restream. However, I think we already know that Restream is a good service. Them sponsoring me isn't going to influence the way I make this video. Restream is good. It's very powerful for those who need the features. So let's take a look at everything it offers and how to set it up. And I quickly want to mention that I'm rebranding my channel and my stream so once that's all done I will go back to regular streaming. I would greatly appreciate it if you would follow me on Twitch so you can be there for my launch and we can have a great chat. My link is in the description so I would appreciate you following me there. So let's check out everything Restream has to offer. Their homepage is very straightforward. You can instantly create a new account and you will also get $10 in credit for free if you use my sign up link. So don't forget that because you might want that $10 later. The link will be on top of my description. Now later in the video I will also show you how to get free access to the premium features for 7 days. But we will go over that once I reach a premium feature because most of what we'll do in this video will be completely free. So once you made an account on the homepage and you reach your dashboard, you will be asked to add your first streaming account. Now it's important to know that Twitch doesn't allow its affiliates and its partners to stream to Twitch plus other platforms at the same time. If you're not affiliated yet or you just don't stream on Twitch, then you have nothing to worry about, but you can stream on Twitch and simultaneously stream on YouTube or whatever if you are Twitch affiliate or partner. Let's log in with a Twitch account that is not affiliated yet, click on authorize and then you'll see your first linked account right here on the main screen. Now adding other channels can be done by clicking on add channel and then choosing your platform. So let's choose YouTube right here. Click on add YouTube event, log in with your Google account, allow access and now you will have to create a new event or choose an existing one. If you have no clue what this means and you want to use YouTube to stream, then you should absolutely go to my big YouTube guide which I will link in the cards and skip to minute 53. <laughs> Told you it was a big guide. So anyways, I'll choose to create a new for now title it YouTube stream and then click on save. Now once again if you're not familiar with YouTube watch the video because you actually should create a custom event but that's too much to explain right now. Now you can add whatever channels you want right here but let's continue with the setup for now. Now one important thing to mention is that there's a 7 day trial for premium services and it includes a discount in case you want to keep using the service. So usually you need to get lucky to get a pop up for that but I asked for a link that I could share with my viewers and they gave me one so it will be in the description it will be titled 7 day trial. You can start a 7 day trial and you can also get a discount in case you decide to pay for one one more month or one more year depending on what you choose. Now this being said there is an event feature and this is very useful for managing multiple platforms which kind of is the goal right? If you go to the event page on the left you can click on create event then add a title, a description, start date and upload a thumbnail. Then after clicking next you can enable the platforms where you want to schedule this event on and then click on create event. You then also have the possibility of changing the specific information for each platform by clicking on edit and I recommend this since every platform usually has a different meta or style or a different way of communicating. Let's choose this right now because I don't want to create an event at the moment. The next step is the scheduler and this can be used to pre-record streams and then schedule them to be played live at a certain date. Now you need to be careful with this because every platform has different rules on live streaming pre-recorded content and most of the time you will need to put this in your description. There are two tabs at the top, one for uploading your video files and then one for putting them in the queue. With the free plan of Restream you are limited to uploading two video files and scheduling one video for a future automated stream. However, I don't think that this limitation will be a problem to anyone. When you don't need the videos anymore, you can just delete them and then upload new ones. Let's go to the process of scheduling an automated stream. You click on upload video, 
choose a file and then that will start uploading. After that you can go to the queue and click on schedule recorded video. Now you can change the title, choose a video file, change the start date and time of the stream, enable or disable specific platforms, set up a repeat although this is a paid feature, then optionally you can change the server and if everything is set up you can click on schedule recorded video. Now keep in mind that your video will need to be optimized for streaming, they probably gave you a pop up for this but you can also just find the guide for doing that on this page. I will link it in the description. Uploading a random high bitrate video file will probably not work so you will need to run it through this process right here. All the steps are on this page and I won't be going through that but you can read everything, go through all the steps and then your result will be a video file that is optimized for streaming. You can then upload that file to the scheduler, set a date and then everything will just work. The next function recordings is for downloading your previous streams but this is a paid feature. Now the thing I like about Restream is that while there are a lot of paid features, the free version is actually very usable too and almost all mandatory features are included for free. And this is a good example of it because downloading your recordings right here would be handy but you can also just go to a specific platform and then downloading your last stream right there. However there is one feature that might be a deal breaker but we'll get into it later once we get to it. There are a few very handy features that you should see and one of them is the chat app and this is extremely important but first we've got the analytics so let's check that out. Now this gives you in-depth stats on all your previous streams and most of these things can be filtered by date. When you're streaming on something like 6 platforms at the same time it can be hard to keep track of which platform is doing best or what your total viewership or watch time was, well right here you can look at all that stuff in great detail so once you've done a few streams on multiple platforms, checking all this out will give you some great insights. Now the last thing we need to check out before linking our streaming program to Restream is the chat and this is one of the most important features because in fact we have a problem right now, right? We stream to a bunch of platforms at the same time but when you react to someone who said something in your chat on YouTube then everyone else on other platforms will have no idea what that person said. So that's where the restream chat comes in. It gathers all messages from all platforms and puts them in one chat box and you can look at that chat moderate it but you can also put it on your stream and that's huge because then your viewers will see all your messages from all platforms at once. And this can also make your chat look a lot more active since all your messages are combined in one chat. You can download the chat tool to have it in a separate window on your computer or you can open it in your browser. Now I quickly downloaded the chat so let's check it out. On the bottom right you will see settings so click on that and that will open a bunch of options. Clicking on one of them will open a set settings window and you will also see the same options right there in the window. Now the appearance tab is used to change the way your chat looks by switching between text bubbles and plain text, showing or hiding the viewership count, showing or hiding avatars which by the way is only available when using text bubbles, changing the scale of your chat and a few more options. Then notifications is something you won't need and I will skip a bad stream for now and go over a few other important settings first and after that I will show you how to embed your chat on your stream because that's a great feature. Now the reply commands function is something you could compare to very simple chatbot commands. It allows you to create pre-written messages and an example of this would be an exclamation mark socials command that you can use when someone asks for one of your social accounts. Now when you create that command and then you use it in your chat then the command itself will not appear but the pre-written message will and that's a very simple way of creating some quick chat commands. And we already talked about the fact that when streaming on a bunch of platforms some chats will be more active than others, right? Now if most of your viewers are on YouTube but a few are watching on Facebook then your Facebook chat will be quite dead. However when you use the relay mode then Restream will forward all messages being typed by viewers to all other platforms. That way no matter on which platform people are watching your stream, the same chat will be visible everywhere. Then the analytics option, this is just a shortcut to the analytics on the website and it immediately goes to the chat analytics, so we're not gonna click on that, we don't need that. Let's go over the next option, the discord tab. This allows you to connect discord to sync a channel's chat and your stream chat but that's also something I'm not going to set up right now as not many people are going to use this. Now the filtering tab, this allows you to hide common chatbots like stream elements from the chat 
And the second option hides all commands, which is also very useful, especially if you're showing your chat like on your stream, which is what we are going to do right now. By the way, if this overview of the Restream chat went too fast for you, or you just want to know everything there is to know about the chat functionality and how it works exactly across multiple platforms, I probably will make an in-depth tutorial about the chat specifically where I showcase everything. And if I do, then I will link it in the cards and also in the description. So you might want to check that out if you need more information on the chat functions. So at last one more function about the chat and the very important one is to show the chat on your stream. And to do that, go to the embed in stream tab, copy this link, then go to OBS studio or Streamlabs OBS, add a new source, choose browser source, replace the URL with the one we just copied in the chat settings and then click on OK. Now your chat will be displayed in your streaming program and you can change the aspect ratio of it by changing the resolution in the settings of the browser source we just created. Now in the settings of the Restream chat, you can then customize this chat to your liking by removing the background or changing the theme or the scale of the text, you can play around with this. And in case you're interested in this chat on stream, on my Discord you can find the free graphics pack for your stream, which includes an intermission screen with room for your chat and a bunch of other elements like social media assets, panels, alerts and all you will need for your stream to be honest. It's called the Neon Overlay Pack and it's my community overlay pack which people are using to set up their stream, customize things. So if you want that, my Discord link is in my description and you can download it by going to the Neon Overlay Pack channel and then downloading right there at the bottom. So that being said, once you linked all your social media accounts, your chat is set up and you're ready to stream, the last thing we need to do is linking Restream to your streaming program. Now I'll show you for both OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. In OBS Studio, go to your settings, go to the Stream tab and then select Restream.io in the drop down. Now either log in with your Restream account right here or go to the Restream dashboard, click RTMP settings, click on the blue copy button, then go back to OBS Studio, click use Stream key and then paste your key right there. Both options will do the same thing. Then in Streamlabs OBS, go to your settings, go to the Stream tab, click Stream to Custom Ingest, make sure your stream type is set to Streaming Services, select Restream RTMP as your service and then go to your Restream dashboard, click RTMP Settings, click the blue button to copy your stream key, go back to Streamlabs OBS, paste your stream key right there and then click on done. Now when you go live in your streaming program, so either OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS or whatever you used and you set up your stream key with, instead of streaming to a specific service like Twitch or YouTube or whatever, you will now be streaming to the Restream servers. Then they will stream to all the platforms which you connected on your dashboard. You can also build change your titles on your platforms by clicking update titles on the dashboard and then changing information right there. Now don't forget that you can get a 7 day free trial by using the link I have in my description in case you didn't get the offer through the chat bubble on the Restream itself. Now as I already said I will be making an in-depth tutorial on the Restream chat functions and customizing it to work perfectly on your stream and to make it look good for the viewers etc. So if you're interested in that I will link it in the cards and in my description when it's finished. Now if you need any more help with Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio, I have two playlists about those programs and I update them regularly so make sure to check them out in case you need help with either one of them. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video or in one of these playlists. Have a nice day.